very easy to be caught up in our busy working lives and not to take some time out to, to, to meet with clients, to engage, to look at products, to get ideas, etc. Um, I think that um, many years ago a lot of these shows kind of died off and it's nice to see, um, particularly today, a big presence from a lot of industry brands back supporting the show. I think the industry needs shows like this. It's great for networking. We'll see people who are selling membranes, people who are selling uh, ventilation equipment, and likewise, they'll want to see what we have on offer in the marketplace. It's great for networking. Within the roofing world, you'll, see, you'll, you'll meet people you haven't seen for a long time. Uh, and generally speaking, I think it's got, a, it's got a huge opportunity to introduce clients who we're going to introduce and they'll come down and see the material. We do a lot with architects and a lot with specifiers and they want to see what we've got on offer and this showcases everything in a one-stop shop. It's all very well dealing via emails and, and, and conferences and so on and so forth but more uh, intimate events like this give people the opportunity to get together and have serious conversations. I think networking is one of the most important aspects of BMF membership um, and obviously the shows are a great way of meeting people face to face, explaining how, how much they can get from their membership and updating existing members but also meeting new contacts and making them aware of what the, the trade body can do for them. So it allows I think us to get uh, within the business around our colleagues, uh, people that we trade with in terms of customer base, but also other manufacturers, uh, people that specify our product and get a real understanding of where the market's uh, adapting and how we might be able to change our business and adapt what we offer in terms of service offering, but also about our product development uh, and, and where we can really affect our business, change our business to, to suit the market conditions. Yeah. It's a great opportunity to actually share ideas and to move forward and um, make sure there's alignment in the industry. So it's, it's quite an unusual situation because you've got the, the different competitors in a normal environment, but actually we're all in the game together. Um, they're important for the industry to uh, demonstrate best practice and to launch new products and new initiatives um, and so that we can make sure that the industry is at the, the forefront of uh, contractor specifiers' minds. Over the two days, we've, well, we've seen a number of different people. We've got roofing contractors coming in, general public, uh, you know, education, health authorities coming in architects and such like, uh, which is good for our business because we are one of the newest uh, you know, manufacturers in the UK. It's the only roofing and cladding show in the country that we feel is important to our specific industry. We have uh, the opportunity to showcase our new and innovative products uh, with a captive market. The RCI show this year has been really exciting. We're absolutely delighted to see the number of visitors we've had through the doors and a really interesting range of exhibitors and sponsors supporting the show. One of the absolute key elements that we focused on this year is a significantly increased amount of professional content to support people's learning with a mixture of REBA accredited sessions that people can attend as well as exhibitor led sessions and lots of other seminars and workshops to boost people's learning and to support the sector in developing uh, within roof and cladding and insulation as part of the construction sector. This year's show crucially has been an absolutely massive building block for the show's progression as we look ahead to 2020 with the support of the market from the exhibitor side but also to the visitors as we continue to broaden out what we offer.